Hey guys, this is Kaju May Addict, and here we are. We're finally at the beginning slash the end. This is the official, almost 100% complete new room, tour room video. Bam! So let's get it started, shall we? Let's switch this from my ugly mud. Mug. Oh, excuse me. And let's begin the tour in front of the door. All right, so... Uh... When you first walk out, I'm not going to show the hallway because I actually got my for sale stuff and one tote um, down there. So when you walk up, you got the code orange and Harley Quinn. Then you walk into the room and boom, here we go. I'm just going to close the door. We got the dogs moving and get all that out. So they're being a little noisy and that's okay. So we've got a th quite a few posters up. I gotta buy a couple poster boards for the rest. So I've got that uh, New Age Harley Quinn, my uh, Corey Taylor Into the Darkness Volume 1 poster. My Volume 2 poster has to go up next to it. And then next to that is my Signed Stone Sour poster. That's the second Hydrograde tour. Uh, that is when Josh Rand was not at there. Um, down here we got the bed, so we got my big Godzilla blanket on top of the Slipknot, uh, my Slipknot, uh, blanket. Um, super nice. I got this back when I saw them in Nebraska in 2019, right before We Are Not Your Kind came out. Obviously it's the We Are Not Your Kind. And then the first shelf is the Monster Art shelf. Oh my god posted about this already as of this moment i have 96 likes on just the Ghidorah picture which is insanity oh man thank you guys so much i really do appreciate it that's really cool so we'll just kind of we're gonna take a quick dive at this so i got the 2014 there looking awesome i really do like that figure it's just the head articulation is awful, but I like that his head's actually big compared to these two boys where the head's a little small. So, but I've got Burning Goji and 2019 Goji right in front of Ghidorah. Ghidorah being just gigantic. I love this figure. It's such a love-hate relationship. I love him. And then he also is just a pain in the butt. So, uh, down here, we've got the Millennium Shelf. So I've got the Special Color Edition. Godzilla 2K back there, the standard GMK, and then I've got the Shinigawa slash Final Battle version of Kiryu, and the Godzilla 2002, the recent re-release of him. Um, I love these two. They look so good together. Uh, the next one is kind of just a miscell mis miscellaneous shelf. Um, I don't have a lot of Showa, and honestly, when it comes to Heisei, I have more of a certain movie of Heisei. So I put my Mechagodzilla, Rodan, and Space Godzilla all together here. I put 54 and 74 together just because they kind of look cool. It's kind of nice having the two Mecha Gs together. We got Rodan there looking awesome. We got Space Godzilla Spikes. And uh, all right. Sorry about that, guys. I had to take care of something quick. And down here, we've got the Godzilla vs. Destroy a Shelf, the almost complete Godzilla vs. Destroy a Shelf. I'm just missing that crappy evolution set. So, but otherwise, we've got the standard burning OG Godzilla. We've got the OG Junior, and then we have the special color edition Destroyer, which right now, through my camera lens, it looks like he's actually lit up a little bit. I don't know how that's happening, but that looks really awesome with those lights looking like they're the horns glowing and the eyes are glowing. He's not glowing, it's just the light. And then we've got the weaponary or the weapon set um as well there. The next sec section <laughs> we have my newly acquired monster art Shin Godzilla. He's so awesome. I love this figure so much. And we have all of my military vehicles attacking him i just thought i would give him something nice um this shelf will probably become shim godzilla and a few of the others Ooh, uh sorry uh seeing as we're going to be getting i mean at least five new monster arts this year and the shelves are already kind of packed so one of them will go down in the next shelf but then the rest i have no idea like gigan i have no idea where i'm putting gigan and you know the obviously 
hinted, teased at Godzilla 2004 that is coming. It's not confirmed, but it pretty much is. There's a few sites that posted on Gigan's thing that said Godzilla 2004 not included, which means the photo that looks cropped is cropped. It makes sense. Why would they have gotten a monster arts display with the Godzilla 2004 suit? It's pretty obvious that 2004 is probably coming at the end of the year or the beginning of next year. So uh, enough rant ranting about that. Um, but yeah, so they'll probably go in here with him because that's going to be a really good looking setup. Then down here we've got Biolante and all of her glory except the two back tentacles don't fold up enough for me to uh, have them fully on. So I actually had to take them apart and now they just kind of sit at her side, which is kind of depressing. Uh, but the Godzilla 89 that comes out this year will help hide that little weird defect. So I got the LEDs on her. Once again, the video is making it look a lot brighter than it is on the shelf, but I'm kind of fine with that. It makes it look epic. She's epic. Whew. She had to get a shelf just by herself because she's just massive. Uh, the next shelf is what's left of my Ultraman figure arts collection. Uh, we got Zero, Belial, uh, Zeton, Seven, Ultraman, and Gamora. So just the the few that I thought that I, that I really wanted to keep. I've sold off the rest of them, so... But I really like this display. I There's a few figures I would like to add to it, but I haven't yet. So down here at the very bottom, this is just a miscellaneous shelf of things that I like. I really like Spider-Man, Venom, and Carnage. So I've got a, my Revoltech, Venom, and Carnage duking it out. I've got Carnage all, like, pretty much all of his tendrils are on that figure. Just attacking Venom and Venom's being a copy, cough, get along cocky boy because that's what he does um i've got my figure arts uh kylo ren uh last jedi and darth maul uh in the back there um i decided i just couldn't get rid of these two yet i might sell them later down the line i don't know i really do love darth maul i think i'd really hate myself and i really do like kylo ren too and i love this figure he's really nice so i probably won't end up selling those two but they're just here to show that I like the logo to Star Wars. And obviously in the front, my last remaining Figma FGO figures. Um, Jolter, I mean, is literally like, if we're going to say waifus, like she's my waifu. So can't get rid of her. I still need to buy Berserker, her swimsuit version. And if there's another version of her, then I have to buy it because I, I mean, Jolter's my favorite character. And Gilgamesh was literally... He's one of my favorite antagonists, and he's the figure out of the whole line that I waited so long to get. I just could not part with him. I I don't think I'll ever be able to part with him, even if he gets like becomes a lot of money. He's just he's so cool. I love his figure. But those are the only three figure or figmas I have left. So they all look awesome, though. I love them. And then the last shelf is my very minimal um, MCU. SH Figure Arts display. I've got my Infinity War Thanos versus my Endgame Iron Man, Endgame Cap versus uh, the first edition Thanos. I think I'm going to sell this one and then I'm going to upgrade to the final battle one. So be on the lookout for that. I'll probably post about it if I sell him. So he's in great condition. Just I like the updated articulation. So then we've got this kind of miscellaneous corner. These are just a few boxes that I have. Uh, pretty much just for moving and stuff, or not for moving, but for shipping stuff. So I've got these on hold just for that, and then I got my work clothes up there, so don't mind that. I got my fan, my seven-string guitar, my Ibanez, uh, RG series. It's pretty much the one that Korn used back in the late 90s during the Fall of the Leader and uh, Issues era, somewhere around there. I think even into Untouchables, they were using this Ibanez model. This is obviously not an actual stage-used one. It's just the pretty much the exact model, if not the model that they used. So, and then I've got my movie collection and my CD collection down there with my signed stuff. Uh, I got that's one part that isn't finished yet. I have an idea for that, but I haven't fully committed to it yet, just because I want to wait. Up here, I've got all the kaiju movies. Just missing one Blu-ray set. Oh my god, I hate it. And then up here, I've got all my books. Um, both of my, um, 
band ones. I've got my Five Finger Death Punch, Jeremy Spencer. And then I've got my David Gunn, uh, King 810, Eavid, uh, Summer, uh, Summertime and Murder Town. So, and then I got all my Corey Taylor books, of course, and my Pacific Rim novelization. I've got my Scherfdom, uh, Glow School Corey. I love him. He's great. I still love that mask. He's the only mask I got on display. So, and then I've got all of my kaiju books, uh, Adventures of Tom Sawyer, because that's a very special book. Grandfather got me that, and then my best friend printed the fanfic My Immortal, and then put my name on it, and uh, it's it's just weird, so <laughs> don't mind that. But then I got my official novelizations and my comic books. I'm just missing uh, the first Godzilla comic and The Awakening, and then I'm missing the Kong one, and then I'm actually done with the legendary stuff. Um, then here, holy cow, this video is actually going to be long, which I guess it's okay. It's a room tour. It's supposed to be long. I've got my TV set up for the most part. I was going to get a Godzilla movie, but then I kind of forgot because I wanted to run. I kind of wanted to get this done. So I got my big 50 inch Samsung. Uh, there's my reflection. Just holding on to my fat. Sorry. <laughs> the time's off on my TV. Don't mind that. Um, so we, we, this isn't, this is the part that's not really ready. Um, this shelf has got my lockbox for my 10th anniversary, um, the 10th anniversary, uh, debut Slipknot album box set that came out a long time ago, and then my Criterion collection, and then the Monopoly and the Funko game. Down here, I've got the three Funko Pops that I have on display, my Corey Taylor, my 10-inch Walmart exclusive Deadpool, and then the Christmas Harley Quinn. I've got all my Xbox games, well, most of them. I've got all my one Xbox games and then my two Godzilla games. I've got the, my Sports Red controller I got on discount that I actually haven't used yet. Uh, I'm going to make a cut here. The dogs are barking. All right. Another cut, dogs were barking. That's okay. They thought they heard someone at the door. They're still getting used to the new place, so I'm just trying to work with them. Um, so that's the new, this is the Black Friday exclusive controller, I think. Uh, got a discount at Walmart, so I got it on clearance. Uh, there's my broken Switch that still hasn't been shipped off yet, that I should probably do that soon so I can get it fixed, so I can play my Switch. Then on this shelf is actually a very special one, so we got my first and one of only two Safubi Godzillas that I own in hand right now. Not saying that I may have got one. <coughs> I've got one hopefully coming next month. It's on a payment plan, so it'll be a little bit till I get him. And then I got my first Bandai Creation Burning Godzilla. Uh, he had no spot on my shelf, and I didn't want to get rid of him, obviously. Uh, this Godzilla specifically has a lot of... Um, he's, I really care about this figure. Like, I couldn't get, I couldn't get rid of him, so he is on the shelf with the Safubi. Then I've got an accessory box and my little uh, stuffed Godzilla that came out. And then, whoop, 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 the vinyl shelf. Ooh, yeah. So I'm not going to talk you through all of these. Y'all know these. But we'll just go take through in time. So this was actually my first Godzilla figure ever. The Bam Presto Godzilla 2000, or Godzilla 99. Mine is super beat up between being in storage and then my first dog way back when I was young, got to him, so he's damaged, so I might see if someone can't fix him up, otherwise he's gonna stay on the shelf and he's still gonna be a part of the collection, because he's, he's literally my first Godzilla. I can't remember having an actual Godzilla before him, so, and then we got most of my 8-inch line, the other Safubi I own, my M1 2002 mold 54 with Akira Takara-sama's signature, oh, so good. The glitter bomb next to my standard Burning Godzilla. I can't wait to get the other two and have them next to next to each other. Ooh. Yeah, we got the Ghidorahs, the big 8-inch Ghidorahs. Ooh, I forgot to go over posters. Um, I got my 15th anniversary hand-numbered Iowa poster, 61 of 30, 350. Um, I have my super valuable uh, Letters from the Fire uh, from the first album with uh, their original female vocalist uh, before they switched to Nina and then not a band anymore. So 
uh, super, super special to me, that poster. Um, I saw them live once. They were awesome. I really wish they didn't switch vo vocalists, but it happens. I've got my signed Hailstone poster here. You can't really see it because they use black marker, but you can kind of see them right there. You can see AJ's and uh, Lizzie's. And then we have my signed uh, Five Finger Death Punch uh, poster signed by all the guys. When I did this meet and greet, I didn't even know the poster was signed until I got home. And then I was like, oh, those are signed. Oh, oh, that's really cool. So, yeah, so you got those. That's it for the posters. Now back to the, uh, back to the vinyl. So we got more eight inch, got all three Baragons. Um, got my YMSF uh, GFAS exclusive flying to Jaguars. Then we got the Godzilla shelf, which I don't know what's going to happen when I eventually get the memorial box because there's like seven Godzillas that get added to the shelf. So that's going to be a whole thing. Then we've got the pretty much the main bulk of my collection is these bottom three. Um, the six inch line is what I'm collecting for. That's my main collection. Um, getting one of every Godzilla. Uh, character, monster, every variation I can. It doesn't have to be Bandai, but I'm trying to keep it Bandai. So, like, I got my Destroyer here, even though I have my standard one and my Monster Arts one. Um, Megagirus, Orga. Ugh, I love that Orga. I got my four Pops. I've got the three Kongs and the one Godzilla. Still waiting for my Atomic Breath and Mecha Godzilla, so... The two keychains, which I haven't figured out what I want to do with yet, so they're just in here. Same with these guys. These guys won't be here. Um, you got the Playmates, the new uh, Bandai Vinyls, besides the new four that are about to come out. And yeah, um, I got to rebuy Angiris and Rodan. I need to buy the Japanese version, so that's why I don't have those anymore. I sold my two uh, Bandai USA ones. So, And then down here is the quote-unquote miscellaneous shelf, but really it's just the Gamera shelf with my three Gamoras because I couldn't I couldn't handle pulling the trigger on selling these three yet. So they're still here because I love Gamora. Gamora is literally my favorite Ultra Kaiju and easily one of my favorite overall. But this shelf will be the Gamera shelf. So when I get the Gamera Memorial box set, when I get Hyper Gauss, when I get Iris, when I get... Um, Gamera 96, then this shelf will literally just be for them. Uh, I will have it done this year. I'm I'm making myself buy them all. Um, so I've actually picked out a Gamera Memorial box on a site. And hopefully, if it doesn't sell in the next month and a half or so, by, by June time, I'm going to buy it. So expect that. Um, these are the posters that need to be walled. Here's the volume, or the... Into the Darkness, Volume 2, Cory Special Edition. Um, this area is kind of not clean because it's the closet, so we kind of got some of my clothes, some other junk up there. Uh, the Kaiju Garage Sale stuff. And then we've got the Dragon Ball Z figure arts shelves. Yes, it's a little odd that they're in the closet. I get it. Um, this top here isn't obviously done. It's not going to look like this. I'm actually thinking about selling these four. Got the original Trunks, the original Vegeta, original Super Saiyan, original Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, I might sell those just to see if anyone wants them for completion purposes. I got all my vinyls and all my signed vinyls and a few postcards that are signed under here. Two, uh, I've got my set list for the one of the Hailstorm concerts in Sioux Falls. Actually, the last concert I went to um, before the pandemic. And then I've got my signed uh, Stone Sour ticket and postcard that they gave out and then i've got my mercury wi-fi smart stuff um which i can't use yet because we still don't have wi-fi so once those get going then i'll be able to set those up so uh first box we obviously have the saiyan saga which is about to get a huge upgrade with raditz uh mine hasn't shipped yet but he will be soon so can't wait for him otherwise that's pretty much done i think saiyan saga is practically done at that point not much else we need. And then we've got the Frieza Saga shelf. Um, this shelf is about to get so crowded. Uh, I'm waiting on Birder and Goldo, obviously. Um, and then we've got Dodoria now announced and First Form Frieza. So yeah, this shelf is going to get mighty busy quick. 
I'm also assuming Zarbon might come out. I think it's kind of obvious. They wouldn't release Dodora without announcing Zarbon, so... Um, next shelf, we got the Cell Saga slash Android shelf. The Saga that hasn't been touched literally since uh, the multiple re-releases of Cell. Like, the actual new, the last new figure that isn't just a color edition literally is that 2.0 Gohan, which I think was three years old this year. So, uh, we're supposed to be getting a first form Cell. So, I think that's going to start off. We're going to get Dodoria maybe Zarbon, and then we're going to get Cell and start moving into the Cell Saga stuff. Then we've got the Majin Buu Saga stuff. Um, pretty small shelf. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Obviously, we need Kid Buu. We need all the Gohan, Gotenks, Absorb Buu's. Um, we need a, a reissue, technically, of Majin Vegeta. Just give us, like, a Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Give us a new head sculpt. They're not going to do it. They're just going to be that same stupid hair sculpt. I like it. It's just not a good Super Saiyan 2 hair sculpt. So it doesn't fit Majin Vegeta. Down here, we've got the movies, game verse, and then we've got uh, Battle of Gods and Resurrection F. So there's all those. And then we've got the Time Patroller from Xenoverse. Once I get Trunks, he'll go here. We've got Android 21. We've got Bardock and Broly. Bardock's awesome. I just wish my bicep shoulder wasn't stuck so then I could actually, you know, pose him. Same thing with Jace. That's why you don't see any pictures from them on Instagram. It's literally because I haven't been able to fix their uh, their bicep soles yet. So they're literally so tight. I, I literally feel like I'm about to break them. So um, here we have the Fusion Trunks slash Tournament of Power shelf. Uh, Tournament of Power is going to have to get their own shelf eventually once we start actually getting those figures. Uh, UI Goku is supposed to be coming out at the end of the month for me now, finally. So, there's him, and uh, Kefla, I guess, is in the works, supposedly. Uh, there's a female Saiyan of some sort that's supposed to be coming out probably within the next year. I'm going to guess it's Kefla. I hope it's Kefla. Honestly, it can be either of the three. I mean, it can be the Fusion, or it could be Khalifa, or it could be Kale. Honestly, I'll be fine. I, I love them both, so, yeah. So there's, there's what we have for now until I get UI sign. And then down here, we've got the Broly movie and on, because there isn't anything past the Broly movie. It's kind of just separated right now, but there's the whole line. So yeah, I'm only missing Xeno Trunks, and then I'm caught back up when it comes to one release of a figure. Um, I don't have all the special color editions of the SDCs. The only one I have is the Rose Goku. So... And then there's the boxes of their accessories. Also in here, I've got a, all my band merch, my things I've gotten, or all my, like, non-shirts. i got a drumstick from Salierna. You know, all that stuff. So, and this way, we've got the selfie light, the ring light there, lighting it up, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see. And we're going to end it off with this wall, which I didn't actually properly set up. Uh, all three signed, all these posters are signed, so I've got my Prison Stay Alive poster then signed. Uh, thanks to those guys, they're still kicking out beautifully heavily music, so uh, check them out if you haven't. I've got my Chaos and Carnage Tour 2018 Carnifex signed poster. Wasn't even supposed to get this, but the guys let us have it, or they, they signed it for us, took pictures with us. The Carnifex, they're such sweet guys. The whole That whole show was great, so... And then one of my multiple signed Ice Nine Kills albums, or merch, I've got the Safe is Just a Shadow all signed by them. They've all got it in black ink, but it was signed at the last Warp Tour, so um, that's kind of special to me. Then ending off, we've got uh, the Review Station, which just has some stuff on it because it's also kind of where I just set my regular stuff. So that's it for the Room Tour. Let's. Uh, I'm going to stop this cut, switch it back to my face. And we're going to end this off. All sure. right, guys. That is it for the room tour. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm super excited. The room's finally pretty much done. The only thing that isn't done is lights. That's it. Lights and posters. So, yeah. I am beyond hyped right now. Um, it's nice actually having all of my collection on display. It's actually super surreal. Uh, it... It hasn't been done literally in forever, I, I, or since I was at my mom's five years ago.
Like I've never had everything or all of my collection out at once. So this is, it's surreal. It's surreal. And it's nice to finally have a place that's just big enough to have it. Obviously there's going to be some space issues because I get the memorial box. This is not going to, you know, take it. So there'll be a few things and there's going to be at least nine, ten releases by Figure Arts before this is it, you know, hits, joining, all that stuff. So, and Monster Arts is pretty much the same thing. It's a full shelf. I'll have to readjust a lot, but at least Ghidorah, semi, okay. I still don't really like him up there. He scares me up there, but yeah, that's it. That's the, that's the whole room. Um, I'll do one probably at the end of May when I finally get the lights and hopefully internet installed in the place. So then we'll be able to go over all of that extra stuff. So we'll be able to go up through the light display, the rest of the posters. It'll be quicker than this. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this big room tour video. This will probably come out... I don't know. I might do a double upload tomorrow. Uh, today It's Sunday tonight, so... But I've got the double unboxing video for... Um, Raccoon and Monster at Shin. So that'll come out tomorrow. And then I'll probably also uh, post this video, which will be the room tour. I think this will be perfect. And then the vlog will come out Monday. So yeah, that's what we'll do. So, all right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Guy Jume Addict. I'm going to sign out, start editing, and get ready for some awesome content. I'll spoil something for you. SH Figure Arts. Raccoon's review is coming out probably in the next three days, so be prepared for that. Bye, guys. Stay safe. Keep collecting. As Rich Iso always says, buy vinyl, fresh vinyl, collect all monsters. Peace, guys.